Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about a ask me or a forum type of theme right. With the help of this theme you will be able to create a responsive question answer wordpress website. Let me show you what exactly the sales page look like. Okay, so if you click here and if you scroll down you will be seeing it, this theme has over uh, 1300 sales which is quite a good number. And if you scroll down, you will be able to see, uh, let, let me show you the live preview of this particular theme. Then you get a rough idea what is a forum called. Like you must be aware of Quora, right? With the help of Quora, people come there, register there and ask questions to each other and other people who has been already registered on your website will able to answer your questions, right? So as you can see, here are multiple questions and people are answering them, right? You must be a user to answer a question, everything. You can type here your question and ask now. So we'll try to install this theme. Uh, if I'm not wrong, this theme doesn't provide you any kind of demo. You have to manually set online everything. Okay. First of all, you need to download this theme. Uh, you can always get this theme with the regular license key for $59. Uh, and we are also providing the same theme with the same functionality for uh, on our website for approximately $5, which is quite cheap. You can come here and download it no issues in that come here and download this and, and and the left hand side download will start automatically i have already downloaded it so i'll cancel it for the time being so our next step is to come back to our website and install this theme okay so this is a very fresh website installed on my domain uh, demo domain right so first of all you need to log into a dashboard click on wp uh, admin and you will be redirected to a dash dashboard so if you are logging in for the first time, it will ask you for the uh, username and password which you have given while you were installing WordPress on your hosting. So once you are logged in, this is called the dashboard or the hosting. On the left hand side, you will see multiple sections like settings. With the help of setting, you can set up your permalinks, privacy policy, media, discussion and all right. Under the tool section, you will be able to get import tools, export tools and site health, everything that. Under the user section, you will be able to create multiple user and assign them different roles. Okay. So under the plugin section, you can add new plugins to extend the functionalities of your website, right? And at the end, under the appearance mode, you can add theme, customize theme, create menu, change the background color, everything uh, will be under the appearance mode. So we will uh, install a theme, click on uh, appearance under the theme. We have to add new theme. Okay. Click on add new. So here you can see there are a lot of free theme which has been provided by WordPress by default. Okay, so there are a lot of difference between free theme and a paid theme. So generally free theme are not that much responsive when it comes to a uh, mobile prospective and you know, right nowadays mobile prospective are one of the major feature uh, why uh, that a website should have. And the second point if premium theme are uh, way more uh, conversion, uh, the conversion rate on the premium theme are very high when it comes to AdSense money prospective, right? Somewhere and some point of time, you have to generate some kind of revenue revenue from, from your website, right? So let's try to upload our theme. Click on upload, select the file. I'm pretty sure it must be here. Ask me and I'll install the zip file. Okay. It might take you like couple of second installation totally depend upon your internet speed and the size of the file. Let me see what is the size of this file and does it have? Yeah. It also have a zip file inside it. I will just extract it. Okay. And I'll close this because this is not the original file which we have to upload. Okay. Choose file. And here is the uh, actual file which you have to upload. Click on install now. And this is basically, this will basically take some couple of seconds. You just have to wait for it. Okay. As you can see, theme has been activated successfully. Click on activate and uh, it will take time if I'm not wrong. Okay, theme has been activated successfully as you can see. Let's see how our website looks right now. If I visit the home page, it's pretty simple if I'm not wrong. Yeah, you get this section here where you can ask the question, you can create users. Okay, so basically we have to set up everything. The responsiveness of this particular theme is uh, amazing if I'm not wrong. Yeah, you can see the responsiveness is really amazing. And if you want to change the setting, like if you want to create a menu bar, you can just come back to a dashboard appearance section menu. You can create literally any kind of menu. Uh, let me create a quick menu for you. Uh, primary menu, create a menu. And um, I will just add some basic thing. Home, create hash, uh, uh, contact, create hash. 
and about us right now let's go with the three section and i'll add this for like the header menu save and let's see if it is added or not uh, refreshing as you can see the menu has been added that's how simple it is you can add the menu here okay so if somebody come to the website and he need to register to ask some kind of question let me show you if somebody comes to our website and to ask question he need to register first then automatically question will be added how to do seo okay ask now so first of all you need to register coming back to the home page and you need to set up the registration thing which will be on the back end join now about us okay we need to figure out how we can do the registration theme option ask me and here you can set up everything questions answer payment you can also get payment here like if if you want to upload some file with the question you can always get the payment and there must be any kind of setting here home page you can remove the content you can full width the background as you can see this is not full width right you can make it full width and footer setting with the help of this you can change the footer as here there are three section for the footer you can always change the footer and the email social advertisement styling you can always change the color fixed layout if you choose this fixed layout it will be changed if i refresh now and uh, you can see the layout has been changed uh, this is quite awful according to me i will just uh, set back to this and if you want to change the skin you can always change the skin a blue color save option and come here and refresh the skin will be changed as you can see that's how easy it is right if you want to ask any questions here are the all questions which has been asked you can always add a new question like add a new question here so you can always add a new question let it load and let's try to add a new question seo what is seo okay publish publish and question has been added as you can go to the back end uh, front end and you can see question has been added and multiple people can answer this question and uh, you, they can literally share this question right share this and uh, any kind of social media platform so basically you get a rough idea how you can make a, a very quick uh, forum type of website on wordpress so coming back to our website so if you want to download this theme a link will be in the description you can always download this and if you are a wordpress developer or running a wordpress agency running wordpress agency or you are a freelancer you can always check out our membership plan with the help of membership plan you get a lot of benefits let me show you how so basically if you pick up the lifetime plan which will cost you around 359 dollars and with the help of this plan you will be able to download 5400 items per year which is totally insane right because this website consists of more than 6000 wordpress plugin and themes which is nuts right and if you don't have that much budget to invest in the initial stage while you are building your brand you can always get the uh, uh, monthly subscription right with the help of monthly subscription you will be able to download a uh, 3300 wordpress theme and plugin per month which is uh, good according to me so uh, that's all for today's video i want to wrap this video up thanks uh, thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one